Hi, welcome to the TWE channel. I'm Josh. And I'm Bob. Today we're going to be talking about Halloween and how to keep safe during it, especially during the pandemic. As well as a brief history of it and the differences between Halloween here in the UK where I live, as well as what it's like in America where Bob lives. Here in Britain, Halloween started as the Celts believed that at the end of summer, the gate between the mortal world and the underworld got really thin, this allowing spirits to pass through, as they held big parties in order to scare the spirits away. They also wore costumes made out of animals' heads and skin, much like we do today. This was then brought over to America by Irish immigrants, really emphasized by the Salem Witch Trials. Our experiences. So usually my family would have a big Halloween party, much like the Celts did, where we would play games such as Duck Apple and Pin the Tail on the animal game. We would also dance and most importantly eat. Things we usually eat are sweets, obviously, but also pumpkin soup. Then later on, we all got dressed up in our coats and costumes and did some trick or treating around the local area. Now, Bob, in many American movies, we see that Halloween is a big thing with houses coated in decorations, big parties, and of course, lots of trick or treating. So how true is that? Well, Josh, I would say that it is quite true. Many houses around my neighborhoods would decorate their houses with tons of decorations. Anything ranging from inflatable Halloween figures and fake cobwebs to giant animatronic characters in haunted houses. Many of the kids at Trick or Treat tend to visit these houses as they were known to give out more candy, which is the main goal for many trick or treaters. Especially in the US, Candy consumption and the distribution of sweets is considered a big tradition among children and teens. In fact, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, almost $2.6 billion were spent in 2019 on purchasing Halloween candy alone. Halloween safety tips. Make sure to check your sweets before eating them. This is usually done as parents worry that there might be drugs in the sweets, which is unlikely due to how expensive they are. But it is still best to check them as they may be laced with other harmful substances or may include small sharp objects like stones, glass, or needles. I always go trick or treating in a group as there is safety in numbers. Or if you go to a party, make sure you have at least one friend with you. This way you have someone to travel to and from the party with, making sure that you both get home safely. But as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, it doesn't seem very safe to go trick-or-treating anymore. So, is there anything that we could do instead? I suggest doing a pumpkin trail. This is where you place jack-o'-lanterns and other pumpkin-inspired decorations outside of your house as you usually would. And during the Halloween half term, which is the 26th of October until the 2nd of November here in the UK, you look out for these pumpkins and the parents are supposed to give their children a sweet. So why not treat yourself? Lucky, you have a holiday around Halloween. In the US, there is no designated day or time off from school for Halloween. If you wanted an activity to do on all Halloween Eves, as going out to parties is against lockdown rules, then you can always throw a virtual party over FaceTime or play the murder mystery game Among Us. This is an age 10 plus rated game. So for people younger, or if you're getting bored of Among Us, you could try charades or Pictionary. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as we have a new video coming out every Wednesday. We hope you have a spooky time. Goodbye.